It's taken just shy of a year, about 30,000 tons of asphalt, and thousands of man hours to get to the final reconstruction phase of Bluff Street. With an estimated 40,000 cars a day that travel along this corridor, the redesign of this road was meant to make it more travel friendly. The, most of the traffic had to turn to the left to go down Sunset, so we reconfigured the intersection to match where the majority of the cars went. So it should flow better because now that they don't have to slow down as much to make that turn, and so the, the signal should function uh, a lot more efficiently. By decreasing the travel lanes from 12 feet to 11 feet in width and adding a new center turning lane, the road went from five to seven lanes. So adding that third lane will allow the cars to move into in and out of businesses easier while still letting the traffic that's flowing through move, move through there also. Around 70 people could be seen working on this project at any one given time. But the biggest expense was the cost of the materials. The base for this road required the hauling in of granular barrow and gravel. While the paving of this more than a mile and a half long stretch took some time, it's what's underneath, like the new drainage system and underground utilities, that was the most time consuming. There was a significant amount of this project was, was done underneath the road with utilities. And then it's kind of uh, the face of the what everybody sees is the road on top of it, not realizing the amount of work that we put into utilities on, on projects like this. The project required the demolition of about a half a dozen buildings and relocation of around 20 businesses. Road construction crews tried to minimize the impact on travelers and businesses. Business owners impacted by the road construction, for the most part, are happy with the end results. It's definitely an upgrade. Um, it's, our driveways aren't as steep as they were, um, which was surprising being that they took part of our lot. And of course I had my parking lot redone, so between everything, the approaches are a lot uh, shallower. Business owners impacted by the road construction for the most part are happy with the end results. Uh, we got some uh, feedback, but overall they said you're doing a pretty good job, so I think they, they have a pretty good uh, opinion of how we handled the project even though it was impactful. While the speed limit will soon go back to 35 miles per hour, Bracken believes the speed is still a concern. Police have been busy citing many drivers during construction. Speed is definitely, you know, people are enjoying it. I think uh, maybe a little too much has been quite a few people pulled over today. Um, so you got to watch out for that. But uh, it definitely I'm happy with it now that it's over. Bracken said while he lost some business during construction this summer, he's looking forward to hiring more helpers now that it's all over. Um, in fact, we're in the process of that now, so. Perhaps one of the biggest changes is the Sunset and Bluff Street intersection, where the road was raised and a pedestrian crossing was added. So you can see right behind me, there's a new pedestrian underpass underneath the road. In order to get that to fit in, we had to raise the, road, the elevation of the road about seven feet to get that to fit through there. And it provides a lot of continuity with the pedestrian because before there was no legal pedestrian crossing through here. And it has the potential to have a lot of pedestrian access. So putting this in will really um, enhance the mobility of the pedestrians in the area. Another major change was the addition of a continuous turning lane from St. George Boulevard to Bluff, keeping the traffic flowing. An indented bus stop and a new bike path along the route will also keep them safe. This section here we've added a, a 10 foot bike path which connects the, the multi-use path on the other side of the road so it allows the pedestrians more mobility to cross the street here and get to different places. Hall said the new redesign of Bluff should keep the traffic moving through the year 2040. So this section of road shouldn't need any road work until 2040. Uh, we have done a study for the, the southern half of Bluff Street that says that there's some intersection improvements that will be needed as traffic grows and we will need to continue the extra lanes for a couple more blocks south. Contractors still have to put up permanent road signs and finish some parking lots and landscaping. Hall said the project will be finalized in about a month. From the Bluff Street Corridor in St. George, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.